Okay, guys, um, so right now, <clears throat> I have this machine, and I'm assuming that you have made your FAT32 partition, um, and adjusted it accordingly to how big your Norton Ghost backup was, and I'm also assuming that you've done your Norton Ghost backup. Uh, I didn't really feel like going through that, because that would make this video even longer, and, but it's fairly simple to do. So we got our free DOS CD here. We turn the computer on and go to the boot menu. This will let me select the boot device. I put the CD into the optical drive and select CD drive to boot from. And you hit 1 to boot from CD. And it says install to hard disk using FreeDOS setup. Select English, unless you have a different language. Uh, hit continue with FreeDOS installation. Uh, start installation of FreeDOS. One point final. So, um, I can't really let's see if I can get a close up of this. As you can see, it says drive letter C for the installation path. Now, you may be thinking it's going to your local disk, but this is why I said you should make sure your di your main your main partition with XP on it you should make sure that it's an NTFS because that would just make sure that DOS can't install on there <clears throat> in this case it says C but it's still referring to the FAT32 partition we made so you're safe just hit enter and are the above directories are correct and you hit yes and you just go down using the down arrow until they go to done and proceed with installation this doesn't take that long And it's done. And it's asking me to reboot, so I type Y to reboot. And it's still going to boot into XP, so we're going to um, start. I just want to show you something to make sure you have. Okay, you want to go to start my computer and wait for this to show up and if you look you should see a bunch of new files in a folder that says FDOS that's where your FreeDOS installed and now you can verify that FreeDOS has installed so make sure you have your ghost image on here I have my ghost image right here and remember, I told you before, make sure you have ghost.exe copied from uh, local disk or your C drive, or C drive program files, uh, Symantec, Norton Ghost 2003, 
and there's ghost.exe. Copy that over to the root directory of this partition, the one where you installed FreeDOS. And right there it is, right there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now, with FreeDOS installed, we're going to use our partition logic disk. Um, just going to put that in. I'm just going to force shut down here. Okay. Turn on the computer. Hit F12 again. And boot from CD. Now you probably, if you have SATA hard drives, you might want to get the latest version. I have an older version. I, I don't think it works with SATA drives. So get the latest version from online. So we load up partition logic. Hit OK. And verify that you have two partitions. One for your uh, free DOS and one for your XP. NT the one that labeled NTFS should be your XP and the one labeled FAT32 should be your DOS. So what you want to do is go to disk up here in this menu and hit write, base, uh, write basic MBR hit write changes and hit OK and OK and then you want to go to disk again and hit MBR boot menu and make sure both your partitions are listed and you can edit the timeout in this bottom box right here uh, I'll just let mine is two seconds wait two seconds before it boots into the default which is XP and you hit OK and it says boot menu written and close and hit reboot take the CD out and as you can see a boot menu shows up now you have an option to go into XP or DOS the NTFS one is XP and the FAT32 one is DOS so let's go into DOS here and boot with that so now you get just hit enter a few times here now you get something that says C colon uh, slash that's just indicating the directory that you're in. The C drive is, now it considers the installation directory the C drive, but it's not really the C drive as you saw in XP. The C drive is where XP is installed, but DOS considers where it's installed to the C drive. But anyways, so remember, make sure you have your ghost image on this partition. Next thing, make sure, remember, you have to have ghost.exe copy to the root directory. If you hit if you type dir, it'll list everything in the directory. And if you see ghost.exe is there, if I type in ghost, this will load. And then you can do, and then <coughs> I'm assuming you know how to do this, but I'll just go through this anyways. And you hit local partition from image, and then you find your image, and hit OK, and OK, OK, and this is where you is a final decision. I'll just hit no because I don't need to restore anything, but I might just demonstrate this. Um, but first, I'll have to delete my XP partition. So um, we'll just get out of here. So and now what we're gonna do is put in partition logic again. Now I wouldn't recommend you do this because. I'm just about to wipe my XP drive just to show you that it works, that I can restore it. So, we boot from the CD again. Okay, it's loading. I'm sorry I can't show you this in detail because 
I have to use my eyesight because my camcorder 